you know, I, I've always thought since the day we started promoting Chris that he had the uh, all the tools to become heavyweight champion the world. I mean, it's big enough to become heavyweight champion the world and to be a real heavyweight champion the world, uh, but to be the first Mexican heavyweight champion the world would be, you know, something that uh, would be one of the biggest thrills of, of his life, my life, and the sport. I think it would revitalize the heavyweight division. Uh, Chris has, you know, uh, come to realize that uh, his best shot of, of attaining that greatness is to train and to uh, watch his weight and, and to give himself the best shot of being a heavyweight world champion. So he's so much quicker, he's so much uh, faster, uh, so much uh, better, powerful, uh, uh, being in tip-top shape. I mean, I see it in, in various fights that he's come in prime condition. Uh, we're going to be fighting for the heavyweight championship uh, in 2012. And his best, uh, 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 you know, recipe that he can give himself for uh, uh, the best shot at obtaining his dream, his goal, is to go out there in front of his fans at Staples, which I know he's clamoring to do, and put on another Chris Ariola performance that, you know, to me, there's no more exciting heavyweight in the world today than Chris Ariola, and uh, there's no more exciting heavyweight that's uh, that's been fighting since the days Mike Tyson was in his prime. So Chris has, uh, you know, a lot on the line uh, uh, coming up at Staples, but uh, uh, more so than that, he's got the ability to go out there and make history uh, in the next few months.